I'm Paul Rovey. Uh, I've lived in Arizona for 67 years of my life, which is all of it. Water is everybody's problem. It's not, it's the, the government can't solve it. Us as farmers can't solve it. Collectively, we have to come to some collective agreement on how we're going to utilize that water and what the, the benefit is there because, um, uh, you know, individually, each individual segment, it, if they try to solve it, it's just going to wreck the system. If, you know, it's just not going to work. And if they come in and steal the water from the farms, it isn't going to work. And so we, um, we have to collectively figure out together what's the best uses for the water. And, 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 I, and I truly believe those opportunities are there. We feed all kinds of byproducts, beet pulp, uh, almond hulls. A at this point in time, I'm actually feeding dates. Cows love them, and they produce really well on these dates. So we're, we're feeding all different kinds of feeds that have a great nutrition value that would have gone to a landfill but we're able to feed those and all different kinds of feed, you know. A lot, of, a lot of people criticize farmers. They say, well, you're just using all this stuff. And that's just not true. I mean, farmers look at every way they can to be more efficient, to produce a, 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 a bigger abundant yield off of less inputs and to do it more efficiently because that's just, that's just our nature. And so consequently, that's part of the reason why uh, food costs in our country are a very small portion of anybody's income and because we have made food very cheap and very very available in the United States um, because of, of the efficiencies of, of the farmers all across the country. The old saying here in Arizona is Arizona grows where water flows and that's the absolute truth is that if you don't have water you're not going to have anything growing.